Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure vehicle review. Today, we're going to look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch scale Cobra Hiss tank. Now, the Hiss tank is a HasLab exclusive, meaning it's exclusive to the Hasbro Pulse, and it's very expensive, so they had sort of a backing period of time, and it blew that out of the water, totally surpassed expectations, went through every possible tier, and here it is about six months later. This thing is extremely heavy and looks absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look. Here's the front of the box. You can see the Hiss tank here. Got the operator, another Cobra Soldier. Hasbro, ages 14 plus, GI Joe classified. The top of the box, Semper, Fidelis, Cobra, Serpens, HasLab. Side of the box, you can see the tank, Cobra guy. In the back, here's just the tank. And at the bottom, we have sort of the blueprints of the Hiss tank. Very cool packaging. I don't see how this will help anybody, but if it does, there is the barcode. So no further ado, let's open it up, see if it's worth it, and I bet it is. And then I went ahead and opened the box, and these are the contents. Two more boxes. This cardboard box here, I'm assuming, has the actual his tank in it. And this one here, it's very thin, probably contains the figures. And I was right. So here are the contents. On the left, we have the his tank and a ton of accessories and add-ons. In the middle, we have a little decal sheet, and on the right, four figures. We have the Hiss Driver, the Hiss Tactician, and the Hiss Gunner, and then another version of Cobra Commander, which looks fantastic, even including with the 100th figure in the G.I. Joe Classified line, the Tactician. So, let's get everything out of the plastic and start putting it together. So far, fantastic. And before we open them, I thought I would take a quick peek at the packaging of these four figures. Starting with the Hiss Driver, you can see HasLab, Cobra, Hiss Driver, Hasbro, figure number 99 in the Jeju Classified line. Then of course, the next one is going to be the Hiss Tactician. This is the 100th figure in the line. Pretty cool. Of course, we also have the Hiss Gunner. This is figure 101. And then we have this bonus sort of retro carback Cobra Commander. Looks absolutely fantastic and has a bunch of really cool accessories. So next in this video, I want to get the tank assembled. Then we'll check out the figures. So there's a lot of different parts that looks like have to come together. Luckily, we have an instruction booklet and some decals. So this should tell me step by step how to put this together. So it looks like the first step is gonna to be to take three AAA batteries and put them into this thing. You do it at the bottom. Of course, it doesn't come with the batteries. So the first step is gonna to be to attach these guns to the top of the Hiss tank. The two largest guns here, then some smaller guns. Then we have these guns attached to the top. Two smaller guns on the sides, the extra sort of light next to them, and the two largest guns on the top there. You also have to add this sort of shield thing in front of the guns, shielding the Hiss gunner from incoming enemy fire. Next, add this little gun underneath the cockpit. Now for the glass on top of the canopy of the cockpit. There are two different options here. I believe you can use either or. I'm going to go ahead and use the red one as it screams a little more sort of Cobra-esque. Here's the canopy attached. Not only can it open and shut, but the sides are hinged. It can open like that. Then you have these pieces here. These pieces will cover up the wheels or the tracks. Now, you have an option to use either one. I'm going to use the one that's on the bottom. I think it looks a little bit cooler. Now you've got these covers over the wheels. And then the final piece of the Hiss tank, these missile launchers, all attached to the sides of the tank. And there you have it, Hiss tank fully assembled. All the bells and whistles, all the different guns and missile launchers attached. Now there are still the decals, 
But I'm going to hold off for those for now. As I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this his tank. Not sure if I want to use all the decals or not. They have the essentials already on there though. In addition to the awesome Cobra his tank, we come with four different figures. They unlocked all the different tiers. And we have the retro card Cobra Commander. That figure doesn't seem to have a number in the G.I. Joe line. And it's a really awesome figure. Doesn't really match the other guys with their sort of red crimson color scheme. But it's really cool. We actually sort of finally have a proper Cobra Commander for the G.I. Joe line. My god, I can't believe it took this long. And one of these figures is number 100. I personally would have thought it would have been Cobra Commander, but it's not. Still, this is going to be my favorite Cobra Commander, I believe. Then, we have the Cobra Hiss Driver, figure number 99. And then, finally, Cobra Hiss Technician, figure number 100. And it makes perfect sense, as this Hiss tank is such a big deal for the line. And then finally, we have the Hiss Gunner, which is a female. These guys have that sort of red, crimson look. Signature to Cobra. Now they come with a ton of guns, hands, and extra accessories, but it's really cool to have these figures in addition to the His Tank. If you think about it, four figures, about a hundred dollar value, so makes up for some of the expensiveness of the set. So we'll take a quick look at these figures, but this video is mainly about the His Tank. Cobra Commander, yes, a light blue color. The helmet, the faceless look, love it. Cobra logo, sort of folded over tunic. Sheath for his knife. Looks good. Very happy with the color scheme. Very happy with this figure. True leader of the Cobra team. Alright. Look at this guy. Looks fantastic. He has the visor, the helmet, the Cobra logo. This guy's going to drive the His Tank. Holster for his gun. Overall looks pretty good. And there might be a little bit of reuse, but it's not like they just took another figure and repainted it, and I appreciate that. Then, of course, the His Technician. Similar helmet and visor. Might be exactly the same. A lot of shared parts, but the paint job's really different. And I like it a lot. This is figure number 100. A milestone in this line. Very cool. And finally, we have the final figure this one here is the hiss gunner a female similar visor a little bit smaller similar body build but also a bit smaller same type of armored boots etc etc they all look really good really cool paint job excellent the colors really pop and are going to look great next to the hiss tank and here are all these figures geared up and ready to go really cool figure number 100 the His Technician. I'm truly surprised they didn't make Cobra Commander figure number 100, but those retro carded figures don't actually have numbers. Now I've been wondering who was going to be figure number 100, who was figure 100. We were getting to the 90s, and then I have figures past 100. I didn't realize it was going to be in this set. It's really cool. In addition to that, I've been waiting to continue this video until I got the Cobra His Fire Team set from Hasbro Pulse. And it's finally here as well to complement my Hiss tank and the Hiss team. These guys are done in a similar red crimson type color. We have the Hiss officer, the Hiss range viper, and the Hiss infantry. So let's go ahead and open these guys up as well. You can see the three guys on the front. Three guys on the back. Very cool stuff. They did a really good job the way they had this ordering. Now, if you want to back this thing, yes, it was overpriced and expensive, but they gave you like a month or two to join up. It's not like, oh, it's sold out in like two minutes. And then shipping the His Infantry Fire Team right around the same time as the His Tank. Excellent, excellent, very well done. Would have been nice if these guys were here a little bit before, but they were here, I don't know, four or five days later. Pretty cool. And then here with these guys out of the package, we have two of the officer, range viper, and the infantry. They come with a ton of accessories. We've got blast effects, machine guns, grenade launchers, pistols, rocket launchers, backpacks, helmets, bandanas, holsters, knives, all kind of stuff. These guys look amazing, really cool paint variants, and they're gonna go great with the Hiss tank. And here are these guys, all geared up and ready to go. 
Here's a closer look at the Hiss officer. He has a removal helmet put on, large weapon stood in the back, familiar body, very well done. Then we have the Range Viper. You can see the brain sticking out of his head. He's got the wire from his bat back into his head. Looks pretty good. And then, of course, the infantry. Probably the highlight of this guy is this rocket launcher with that awesome blast effect. This guy looks pretty good, too. Cobra insignia on the front. 788. And so let's get back to the Hiss tank. Here it is in a city street type setting. So let's take a closer look. Front of the tank, 788. Three out of 63. I don't know if that's three Hiss tanks out of 63. Bunch of rockets. The gunner will be here, the driver here, and the technician will probably go inside. At the back here, door is going to open up, exposing the inside. We'll check out the action features in just a sec. Just wanted to take a closer look at this Hiss tank, which looks absolutely fantastic. Now let's check out the measurements of this thing to see if you have the display space to accommodate it. So, from the furthest point in the back to the front, just about 20 inches wide. As far as the height, from the bottom to the tallest point, just about 11 inches tall, and as far as how wide it is, it's also sitting at just about 11 inches wide. Now to check out the action features. So first of all, we do have the interchangeable parts here, as I showed earlier. Then we have the actual rubber tread. Now this thing that's pretty cool, feels great. It's very rubbery, and the tank actually rolls on the ground. Absolutely fantastic feature there. Then we have these rockets. Now they don't actually launch, but it's a big sort of rocket launcher on the side, and you can take each one of the rockets out, sort of have them fire off, or fire all six at a time, destroying leveling entire bases. In addition to that, it's sort of articulated. You can rotate it forward and back, take all the missiles off, and if you want to take the whole thing off, you can have a little bit of a sleeker look to your hiss tank. Then we have the gun at the top. As you can see, a couple of smaller machine guns on the sides, they can rotate up and down. Then we have the large guns here, which can also rotate up and down. They are giant. This entire thing can rotate side to side. It has room for the actual gunner inside of here. Now, you can actually lift the whole thing out. A little bit of detail here. The panels are pretty weak. They could use some extra detail for sure. Got a little sort of steering wheel thing, can rotate around, control the different guns. So they can go up and down, and they can rotate around. And you put your guy there, or you can completely remove that and sort of have it be the entrance to the tank. And then we have the cockpit. As a reminder, it does have swappable different sort of canopies. As you open it up, on the inside here, it's got a seatbelt for your figure. You can put the Hiss driver in there. And it has Cobra logo on the back of the seat, some different sort of controls and panels here. As a whole, it looks pretty cool. I'd say a little bit better than the other part there, the gunner. Hard to get the camera in a good angle here, but here's a look at sort of the panels inside of the Hiss tank. It even has this sort of joystick here that actually moves it's on kind of a ball joint. Pretty nice little feature. And as a reminder, the canopy here not only opens and shuts, but it's hinged on the side. And at the front of the cis tank, it has some guns underneath. The guns can rotate around. Also, hinge, go forward and back. So it has guns all over this thing. It's going to be very strong. Not sure how the Joes can take one down. Another little action feature. We have this little ladder. You can pull this thing down, allowing your Cobra guys to sort of climb up and get inside. And then, of course, one of the coolest features, you can actually put guys into the tank. It also has some light-up features. So, we have the back here, sort of doorway here. Open it up, drop it down, and then a light turns on on the inside. It has room for 
I don't know, at least one guy to sit down, or you could put probably three or four guys in there standing up. Now, in addition to that, it also has a sort of bay where you can slot a ton of different weapons and guns for all your different troops. On the inside here, it has a seat, and it has this big Cobra logo, presumably maybe for Cobra Commander, or somebody important. And then you can also see this is where the gunner person is going to be. I think it's really cool. It would be nice if it was a little bigger inside, so you cram a ton of troops in here, open it up, and have a whole sort of team of infantry come out. But, you know, it is what it is. I could easily fit five or so guys in there, probably. May not look so pretty, but, you know, pretty cool. Here's the tank with the light on in a fully lit room. Then, with the light on in a semi-lit room. And here it is in a completely dark room. And if you want extra space, you can actually take the chair out. Nice little feature. That way, if you want to be a troop carrier, you can hold way more guys in here. I could probably hold... 10 in there, even though it wouldn't be pretty, but probably 5 fairly comfortably. In addition to all that, it has more light-up features, and this is one of the coolest things about the His Tank. Now at the bottom here, there's a little button right there, and that's how you control the lights on and off. Here it is with no lights on. Now when you turn the lights on, there are 9 different options to choose from. So, pushing the button, you see the front lights are on, and so the lights inside the canopy as well. Option number two also adds a Cobra sort of logo at the bottom there. Here's a closer look at the Cobra logo lit up onto the ground below the tank. Very cool feature. So that was the second option. Now the third option is going to have the lights in the front, the red ones, the Cobra at the bottom. And then it's also going to add some yellow lights to the front, which are pretty powerful, look very cool. And the next option is going to add some more lights down here. And the next option, from what I can tell, if you press it, it simply turns off the Cobra light at the bottom. And then the next option here is going to turn off the front lights and just have the bottom ones on, or at least dim them. And this next option here, it seems to turn all the yellow lights off, leave the red, and it doesn't have any lights on inside the canopy. And the next option will turn this back on without lights on the inside. And then finally, you can turn everything off. Now let's look through those lights in a semi-lit room. And now let's cycle through them in a completely dark room. First lights on. A lot of different options for this thing. And now, let's put some guys into this thing. Here's the hiss driver in the tank. It was really easy to open the seatbelt here, slide her in. And one thing I noticed is the little lever here is actually hinged. That's pretty cool. She can grab onto both that and the little joystick thing. And now, insert the gunner into the top. His whole station can rotate around. He controls the guns, both on the side and at the front. Now it's really difficult to get him to hold onto those things, but it can be done. Fits in there pretty good, sticks out, say just right. Here's the Hicks technician sitting in a seat. Definitely a little bit crowded on there, especially with the gunner. It's like right by his face. Of course, go ahead and take the gunner out. Looks a little better, but still, I think I prefer to take the seat out and have plenty more room for my Cobra Troopers. Okay, well that's a little bit surprising. I don't know how I didn't realize this before now, but even if you take the seat out, your guys have to sort of bend their knees to fit inside of there. They can't stand in there upright, and that is very disappointing. I thought you'd be able to shove a bunch of troops in there, him standing up, drop the ramp, and they all come out guns a-blazing. Now you can do that, but they help to sort of be in here like this, looking a little bit ridiculous. That does kind of suck. I was really hoping you could just have your guys standing up, fitting inside of here, but no, that is not the case. And when you only have one seat in there, I guess this thing is supposed to accommodate three guys, just the gunner, the driver, and the tactician. I always thought this was sort of a troop carrier, and yeah, I'm definitely disappointed with that. Because now, we have all these other Hiss troopers that just can't fit in there. Well, 
Let's see the best I can do. So it looks like three guys in here. That's the best you're going to do. All in sitting positions. Crisscross. And that's with the gunner out. And when you put the gunner in, it's even tighter there. The other guys scrunch against the wall. Here's Cobra Commander telling Destro about a new weapon that he has. This is going to help them defeat the Joes. Destro just sort of rolls his eyes. Doesn't believe him. He's heard this many times before. Cobra Tank isn't here. A little behind schedule. Cobra Commander is not looking very good right now. In comes Baroness and the Cobra Twins. They're in their crimson ceremonial outfits. The tank is on the way. In comes a formal procession of Cobra Crimson Guards. In comes the Hiss Tank, one of the largest and most powerful vehicles in this universe. This could turn the tides in the war. The Hiss Technician comes out, telling him about the vehicle. Everything is going according to plan. And then BAM! The Joes come out of nowhere. They were expecting this. They've knew about their secret plans for months. It's an ambush. The Cobra Guards quickly jump into action, but it's an ambush they were not prepared for. The Joes are going to throw absolutely everything they have to stop this Hiss tank. If they let this get back to the Cobra base, everything could be over. Now let's check it out next to some other G.I. Joe vehicles. This is the first Hasbro G.I. Joe classified vehicle they made. This is Baroness's motorcycle. And they also released a couple of smaller Joe motorcycles. These were deluxe packs with a figure in a vehicle. They also made Serpentor's flying vehicle. This is also a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And here it is, next to a Plan B Toys military jeep. These are 112 scale, a little bit small for the Joes, but if you're patient, you can sort of finagle them in there. It is a fantastic vehicle. I love it for the Joes. Just wish it was a tiny bit bigger, but it looks great. This will hold me over until the Joe Jeep thing. And I actually have three of these Jeeps. And as the Joe collection gets bigger and bigger, I'm really happy to have numerous of these vehicles. So overall, the Cobra His Tank is awesome. Now, it looks fantastic. I love the rubber tread. Ton of action features. The figures themselves are awesome. The accessories are great. Light up features are pretty cool too. Ton of options there. Some of the things I don't like about it, I am shocked that you can't put the troops in there standing upright. That really limits what you can do with that thing. And the fact there's only one seat, you have to have the guys sitting on nothing. It looks kind of ridiculous. I was very disappointed about that. I probably could have learned that ahead of time. It's not like it would have changed my purchase or not. But man, really, really surprised they can't stand up inside of the tank. Beyond that, there's not really a lot of complaints. I wish it had some pegs on sort of the bottom flat parts so you could have some figures with a peg hole on their feet standing a little more securely on the outside of the tank. But that's not a very big deal. Now, is it worth the price? As you guys know, this is a very high dollar ticket item. And the truth is, no, it's not quite worth the price. Hasbro definitely likes to overcharge. I'd say knock about 100 bucks off. Yeah, it'd be worth it. The four figures it comes with really helps offset that, but I'd say it's still not quite worth the price. It's a fantastic item. I'm not complaining. Very pleased for the most part. Still, just can't believe the guys can't fit in there upright. They have to sit on nothing. What the hell? That sucks. I was just hoping you could drop down that ramp and a bunch of Cobra Troopers run out there. All that being said, if I were to rate the vehicle, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. If only the inside part was a little bigger, I would easily probably give it an 8.5 or a 9, maybe. Still, it's an awesome vehicle, and it really opens the doorway up to a lot more stuff like this. This thing sold very quickly at Hasbro Pulse. It was backed past all the tiers, so clearly there's a thirst for more high-dollar J.I. Joe items. So this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say with the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, or action figure vehicle reviews, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.